This video is sponsored by bootcamp.com. Check it out for INBDE prep and use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here coming to you from the rainy Carolinas. And today's topic is going to be a part two of my previous video on how to succeed while in dental school. Guys, if you like the content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. So this video is going to focus on the time management part of dental school, which I would argue is the most important factor determining your success in dental school. So I think all of these tips are going to be really, really important for you. And we'll start with the first one, which is to build your schedule at the very start of each semester. So my favorite day in each dental class that I took was what I call the syllabus day, the first day that the class meets with the professor. And usually what happens is the professor uh, shares the syllabus and goes over the big things, the important dates and exams, essays, presentations, all of that, uh, that you'll have to look forward to in that class. Now, usually following that day, there are no exams to start studying for right away. There are usually no homework assignments due right away either. And so the temptation is to extend that summer break or extend that winter break a couple extra days into that first week of dental school. I'm going to encourage you to not do that and take that time that you have early on and use it to put all of those key dates from those syllabi into your calendar. So I like a desk calendar. I'm kind of old fashioned like that, write everything out, that's how I roll. Uh, other people use a digital calendar on their phone, on their computer. Other people carry around a little pocket calendar and all of those are great. Whatever works best for you, I'm going to recommend very strongly that you put all of your key dates from each and every class into that calendar. So from there, you can actually build in time to prepare for all of this stuff that's coming up. So if you have homework assignments, you can build in time after those classes to do that homework. You can build in study time before each exam. You can build in rehearsal time before every presentation. You can build in writing time, composition time before every essay that you have due. Because all of those big events are things that they usually tell you up front. And so by doing that, you have a really clear picture of what to expect and what you have coming up ahead. So then you know from there what you have time for in terms of taking a break or relaxing or uh, having fun with friends and family. You can see where all of those prioritized key dates are and where some of those openings might be. And so planning all that out ahead of time is so worth it. I cannot recommend doing that enough. My second time management tip is to practice smart procrastination. Smart procrastination. Okay, what is all that about? Well, let's say you're sitting down to study and you simply, no matter how hard you try, cannot get any work done. I've been there. I know all of you probably have been there at one point. Sometimes we're just not in the right mood. The, the weather is too nice out or it's too rainy out or uh, it, it's just not going to happen, right? Well, I would encourage you, instead of just giving up and watching, I was going to say watching YouTube videos, but you could be watching YouTube lectures, so maybe that's okay. But instead of just doing something that's completely unproductive, use that time strategically and find something else that needs to be done. Maybe you need to do the laundry, or maybe you have to go grocery shopping or meal prep for the week ahead. Those are all things that take time and all things that we need to do. So do those things in this time. And that way you're still productive just towards other goals, other non-dental school goals that are critical to your 
daily functioning. And so those are things that still take time. And if you're not going to be productive doing dental school stuff, at least you can be productive doing other things. And then my last, my third tip for this video in the time management arena is to invest in time savers, to invest in time savers. So what I mean by that are things that literally will save you time curbside grocery pickup or grocery delivery right to your door huge for saving time doing online shopping instead of in person biking instead of walking somewhere weekly meal prep i already mentioned that instead of cooking every single day uh, investing in some home gym equipment instead of driving to the gym and then driving back I even taught myself how to cut my own hair. <laughs> I know it seems kind of silly, right? But all of that, all of that compounds to save you a ton of time. While each of those little instances doesn't seem like a big amount of time, when you add it all up, it really adds up. I'm telling you, you get so much time back to use for studying, but also for your own rest and relaxation. And if you want to be super duper productive, you could even like listen to lecture videos while you work out at home or while you cut your own hair even. So again, I know that all of those things aren't for everybody, but those are just some ideas to, uh, to try to encourage you to try some new things and invest in some time savers where you can so that you can have as much time as needed for your studies, but also for your well-being. Guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the rainy Carolinas. This is Dr. Ryan, and until next time, save some time, and I'll see you in the next video. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to this channel for much more on dentistry. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page. And thank you to all of my patrons for their support. You can unlock access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions for the board exams. So go check that out. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.